asking about that fucking map one more time, Dora. I tell you. You had this coming to you. You had this. Oh, hey, guys. You caught me in preparation for part two of my background making tutorial. Give me a second. Anyways. Never mind the messy hair. How's it going, y'all guys, in YouTube world? Good. Anyway, so uh, I know it's been a while since part one of my background making tutorial, and uh, I figured it was time to get to part two. Now, what you're gonna need for part two is a murderized Dora doll. Just gotta make sure it's a cowboy kind. Yeah. Well, this thing is from the 13th century. I think it belonged to a man's hook arm. And a picture of your most beloved adult film actress. You guys know the cue? Go get that image. Oh, yeah. That is some good film actress. Y'all guys know the clue. Cue the intro. After I cleaned up all the blood from the murdered Dora, I've come back to show you what to do for part two of the Zat Chat making background. Except for this one, I don't have a background to be working on, but I, have, I do have a banner though. Now, in this tutorial on uh, for making backgrounds, I'm going to teach you about the um, the wand tool and the uh, it's called the refine edge tool. Both of these are very very important for making backgrounds. The reason being because you often or not when you want to use images and if you don't make your own, you have to find things like this. See this white background? When you put this on something, say for example, hang on, let me just select over here. Command A. No. C C. I'm going to turn this to the rectangular marquee tool. I'm gonna to select it. I'm gonna hit the uh, copy. Where the hell is the copy? Where are the Frig is the all right. I'm sure you all know what the copy tool is. It's Command C or Control C on a PC. And I'm gonna go back over to this uh, this uh, banner I'm working on over here. I started working on. And see what happens is this. Oh shit! The image is so big. That's why I hate working on small things like banners. Shit, like this happens. See, look at this. That white part that's supposed to be with the Jolteon background. It just it covers everything. That's a big no-no. You don't want that shit. That shit goes bye-bye. So uh, let's see. Back to this Jolteon. So what you're gonna do is uh, deselect. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here. You make sure you're on the magic wand tool, not the quick selection tool. That's for later time. Right now, you have straight edges. There's no openings, so you can just go for the quick select. Just hit everything. Yeah, tap everything with that wand. And simple enough, you can do the uh, so you can do this uh, command. Uh, it's the what the hell is it? It's uh, command X or the cut. I don't know what the other button is for cut because I always use command X. But think of control X or command X, and look, the background now becomes transparent, and now you have a free jolting on which you just select it again with the select tool. And you copy it, you bring it over to here, and uh, gotta, gotta fucking hate small banners. See, it's no longer covering stuff, and it seems to be a pretty good quality. Now, the thing you gotta keep in mind though is that any image you're gonna be getting from the internet is gonna be in 720p, 72p uh, resolution. You don't want that because then. Uh, this the images the edges get kind of like gritty when you uh, resize them that that much. That's so why whenever you get to an image, you always want to you just go to this other picture of another Jolteon. Get rid of the background and you go over to the image right here. This is a part two. The other Jolteon you saw was already at 300 because I put it to 300. You go to the image size. See how the resolution is only 72. You don't want that. No, that's trash number. You want big number, big number. Always go 300. Make that shit high def. It's so high def it makes TVs feel jealous. That's how high def you want this fucking image to be. 
Now, uh, now that this, uh, oh, part of my language, by the way, now that this Jolteon has been uh, cleared out, the other thing you're gonna get, you also gotta find images. Already got the things transparent, so that's easy enough for you. Then you have this Jolteon, where you have to uh, wand several things at once. You want to uh, once you wand these out, you have to hold Shift down so you can click multiple spots. I know it doesn't look like much, but when you look down here, you'll see how the wand dual thing is not going into the thing completely. That is not good. Those little white edges are left off. You're going to see those. Hence by this. Watch. Command X. Cut out those Ys. Command C. Go back over here. Alright. Now I'm going to make you... Freak. It's so big. Jesus. That's what it was, she must have said the other night. See. Now look at that. You see though the serrated edges around the image. And how it seems to be... Uh, all setting the other Jolteon that's just gonna that's just gonna look nasty overall we don't want that no 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 we don't want that uh, what you do here in this kind of situation when you have this you basically have to refine edge the entire thing what you do is you go over here and now once you got everything selected go back to your wand tool you go to select inverse so now it's just surrounding this then you select and you're going to go to the refine edge tool right here. This is where uh, you zoom in to very bare minimum. And you grab this little tool right here, this little brush tool. And you go and don't touch the very edges. You don't want to like go over and make everything red like that. No, you want to go along just the simple edges. Make sure to get every little bit of white. No one wants the white around. See? You can't see the difference now, but if you look over here compared to over here, you see very little to no white over here with a crap ton of white over here. Get rid of that. White is practically gone. And then you just gotta go all the way around. Now, excuse me while I... Uh, uh, I fast forward the video while I do this. And there you have it. The thing is perfectly refined edged and hopefully it will be very, very good. Now you just, you can always just inverse or you can do what I do. And once you have uh, a completely refined edge, you just co copy that one part of the image. Go back over here. Uh, back to making you tiny. Oh, see, you still see some, but not as much as before. All the one that's really left over, you can always just zoom in and get rid of manually. Just get your eraser tool, make it extremely tiny. Oh, oh, oh. And just go in there and just lightly, lightly touch up the few bits that are there. Yes, I know it seems tedious, but this white shit that surrounds your images, when you put them in backgrounds, this is not professional. It is nasty, degrading to all graphic designers everywhere, and it is a shame to the art world. You do not deserve to live if you do this. Please fix your shit up. Aside from my little rant, uh, uh, aside from my little rant, uh, you can always just uh, 
Oh, it's called that. Uh, just erase, erase, clean up, clean up. People ask me, why do my backgrounds always take me so long to do? It's because I do this. I meticulously go in there and clean shit up. You clean. It's all about cleaning. Gotta make your shit look nice. You don't go out to a bar with some crappy ass clothes and expect to get some girls unless you get her really, really hammered. And people that go on chat rooms aren't hammered, usually. There's a few people who I know who probably would. So you just clean and you clean. You go in there and you clean up everything. Make everything look nice. Now aside from that, there's just one more kind of thing that I want to show you guys. Just a little tidbit. Imagine you have uh, a garden shop over in your background, but you don't like the certain garden shop image. And you search and you search all over the internet. You don't have the skills to make your own garden shop. But you come across a really nice image, but it's out of like the anime or something. Take this for example. See this? This looks like a really badass garden shop pose. But it's ruined by this awful effect background over here that the anime saw fit to put into it. That could easily be fixed so you can get this thing out. See, so you go over here to your uh, wand tool and you switch it to your quick selection tool. Now, depending on your image, you can either come in from the outside or go out from the inside. Whichever seems easier. This background here seems a little simple, so you can always, uh, and the image itself you want to take out is very complex looking. You can always go in there and just start selecting all the shit you don't want. When you select part of the image, just hit your option key or your alt key. Turn your plus sign to a minus sign and just go back out there. Make sure to give yourself things down to a decent size and just uh, unselect the crap you don't want to have cut out. Just go back in there, select again. Now that's selected, you go over here, select some more, select some more, more selection being done. There's no one volunteering for this job, just those who want the job. Those, all right, do, 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 do. Okay, go over here and then over here, and that is almost completely. Oh, 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 almost missed over here, almost missed over here, all right, and over here. All right, now that the most of the image has been selected you want, what you do is you go back over to your select and you inverse it, so you're selecting just the image itself. Then you refine edge. You go in there, oh, time for more uh, fast forward. I'll talk as soon as it's done. Alright, so as you can see, it's been refined edged out mostly. There's just some parts, uh, the refined edge isn't as forgiving on some areas as to others. Like, as if like the area is about the, almost close to the same color as the background you're trying to erase, it sometimes gets faded in. So you have to go back in there and refine edge other shit out, or wand out, or wand in. And what you do now. Is that once the image? Oh, forgot to refine edge up in here. Be right back for a second. What you're gonna do now, once you're back to this, you're going to co you're gonna copy the image you already have copy you have selected. You're gonna find the edge down. You're gonna copy it, and you're gonna paste it right above the original the image you're gonna fix. As you can look from the way it looks, once you. Uh, make this other bottom disappear. You can see that parts of the image got destroyed. Do not fret, my young graphic designers. This is just merely uh, the parts that got destroyed, the pixels that got destroyed by the refine edge. Now, I know it doesn't seem very efficient, but this is the best way to get cleaner cut images. So you go back in there, you go to your history tool, and you just build back up the parts that got erased.
while simultaneously erasing the needless stuff that got left behind, shadows and whatnot. This seems like it's uh, counterproductive to your time, but if you want to have quality work, it's going to take lots of time. See? I mean, it doesn't take that long either. You just got to go back over some parts, erase the things that aren't needed, and get yourself a nice clean image. Shortcut tools for the erase is E. Shortcut for the history, revival tools, the history. Uh, brush tool is Y. Let's go in there, fix up stuff, clean up, sharpen, erase. And you'll have yourself a very, very nice looking image. 